What do you do with all that leftover Thanksgiving turkey? You make green chili turkey enchiladas. If you guys wanna see this, here we go. What to do with all that leftover Thanksgiving turkey? I think I've got a good one for you. You guys know I love Mexican food. Why not incorporate turkey into the Mexican theme? How about a turkey enchilada? Fantastic flavors we got going on today. First things first, we have our Lone Star Grill pellet smoker heated up. I'm gonna use a feature on there I want you guys to see. Not many smokers have it, that's why I, I like this one a lot. If you don't have it, you can use a gas stove or you can use a broiler in your house. Anything, you just want that char effect. Simply enough, we have some jalapenos, so let's pick out these two. Uh, we have some plebano peppers. In a bowl, these go. And I'm gonna add, whoo, my oil is cooling down. You can see the temperature <laughs> dropping. Is it like frozen? Well, that's close. What is that? Avocado oil. <laughs> You just want to get lightly tall season oil and then we're going to grill these on the pellet smoker really quick i've been doing this a lot lately off camera um, if you have the uh, lone star grills i've never really done it before but you notice this is the smaller grate so i side the smaller grate in here and take out the bottom grate so this grate goes here and i take out the bottom grate completely because it gives you access to be able to move your door. See that? And then you can just grill on top of this like I do my steaks, chicken, or anything like that with an open flame. So if you had the full run of it, then you have to pull out completely just to open up. So I do this actually quite often. Send it right over there. And now we're just gonna start grilling our vegetables. While our vegetables are being grilled, I have some pepper jack. I have some seriously sharp cheddar, and I have some gouda. We're gonna do about half a block of each, so about four ounces each. Mix that cheese up and set it to the side. Just like that, it doesn't take long. Raise that up, close it over. Foil over top to trap that steam, give it about 15 minutes. While that's going on, we can make some of our mix. This is technically roughly five cups, but more importantly, to give you an idea, because I'm top one of those people that when you look at a recipe and it says five cups, I always wonder how much does it make to get to five cups. This is one turkey breast and two thighs, exactly. Four ounces of cream cheese, about half that cheese that you just grated up. The rest of the half will go, or the other half will go on top. About a third cup of loosely chopped cilantro, sour cream. Seems odd, but trust me on this one, a little bit of mayonnaise. As always, this recipe will be on pelletsandpits.com. One can of green chilies, hash green chilies. One can of green enchilada sauce. And about eight ounces, one cup of salsa verde. Just give that a mix. To your mix, I'm gonna take one cup and we're gonna add that to our turkey. And about a quarter of a raw onion. I'm gonna show you how to do one and I'm gonna get the rest of these knocked out. So the skin should be pretty much easy to take off, just like that. If you leave some on there, it's not a big deal. All that's flavor anyways. Skin should be tender. Work around the seeds. All right, just like that, you got the skin off and the seeds out. To that, you can make strips, you can make squares, you can make chunks, it won't matter. I'm gonna knock out the jalapenos and the rest of the poblanos. 
And just like that, we have all those poblanos and jalapenos chopped up. I did chop the jalapenos just a little bit smaller, just in case my kids get a wild hair and they accidentally try it. I didn't want the jalapenos to be an excuse. So to this, we're just gonna mix it up. I got myself a casserole dish. I'm just going to put a thin layer of sauce on the bottom. Corn tortillas, absolutely. But if you're talking about leftover Thanksgiving ideas, the last thing on your mind is something that's uh, not necessarily calorie friendly or, you know, da da da. So we try to do the low carb thing, each to their own. Uh, these are low carb tortillas. You can use any ones you want. We're going to, simply enough, just warm them up. If you had this burner or a burner like this, you could done your peppers on this just like that. You can use a cooling rack to put on top of it because the holes are pretty big. And you can go just like that as well. Whatever you want to do. Quick little tip. If you use a casserole dish that you care about or getting soiled, stained, or discolored, I like to use aluminum foil around the dish. And that way when you set it on there, it kind of protects it. Simply enough. All right. Our sauce is here. I like to leave little uh, bits exposed because they can get crunchy. So not everything is the same texture. Then on top of that, we're gonna add that mixed cheese. Remember that's pepper jack, gouda, and cheddar. On the smoker goes, 375, until it's nice, bubbly, cheesy, gooey, and hot. And about 30 to 40 minutes later, you should have something like that. Can't get any more better than that. Any more better. <laughs> Can't get any more better. Your daughter's going to be flaming you for that one. <laughs> Can't get better than that. Just don't burn your mouth, kid. Mmm. I have always preferred something like this more than I do a red one. It's just my preference. We even made a Mexican pizza on the Flat Top King a long time ago. And I did something similar. Mm. By finishing it off on the smoker, That's you get that bite. little extra. I've seen your big old mouth. <laughs> you get a little extra smoke flavor by charring those on a pellet grill, the peppers. You get some... Oh, I don't know what that side looks like. Let's see if we can do that well. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, if that's not a bite. Go ahead. <laughs> You're going to burn my mouth. No. That's good. That is good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go enjoy it. Not mm -hmm. really much else to say. That's a big bite. <laughs> but is it good? Can I get a thumbs up, thumbs down? I know. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Check out the website, check out the recipe. It's gonna be on there. This is one that you can always substitute your smoked chicken for. Matter of fact, I think it's a recipe worth smoking a chicken for just to make this or you have your leftover Thanksgiving turkey. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the no okay button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. Dinner time. Mm. God, look how creamy that is. Yep, that's good, honey.